So, you want to know a little more about Google Plus. You got your invite. Now what? Well, here at the Internet Marketing Specialist designation, we want to show you not only how to use Google Plus, not only why to use Google Plus, we want to show you how to set Google Plus up correctly from the start. Imagine the top social media site and the top search engine coming together. This is what Google Plus could become. So let us help you do it right the first time. The first thing you're going to want to do is edit your profile so people know who they found and see if you are someone that they want to interact with. So log into Google Plus, click on About, and then select the blue box that says Edit Profile. Your name should be auto populated by Google already. You need to make a personal profile. These are not business pages at this point, so make sure it is your name. Google has already shut people down. Next is a brief description of you. Just click where it says a brief description of you. And in here, you're going to want to fill in what you would tell people if you had one line. Is it you work with certain types of buyers or sellers? Or is it something about your personality, something about your sense of humor, something about your professionalism? Just type it in. Let people know who you are and that they found someone they want to work with. The next thing is not only do they want to know who they found, they want to see what you look like. Maybe they're looking for a specific you and they know who you are and they want to make sure the picture is right. Or maybe they're searching and you've come up on a Google search and you want to make sure that people see a good professional photo of you as your profile picture. If you don't have a picture already uploaded, you can click Change Photo to change it or to upload an original photo. When you've completed with your personal profile picture, show your personality. You have five slots for putting in other photos. Click on this bar of pictures and you can select Add Photo to upload a new picture. Choose File, find the picture on your computer, and upload the image. Once you've done that and the picture is added to the bar, click OK. Now you've got some pictures that show your personality. Maybe these pictures are you with professional people. Maybe these pictures are you with your family. Maybe these pictures are you with past clients in front of homes. Whatever personality you are showing, this is what people are going to see as they're learning about you. So make sure you're sharing the right image. Now let's move on to your introduction. This is your elevator pitch. This is you've got a moment to tell someone who you are. They've scrolled far enough to want to know about you. So what are you going to put in here? Well, what would your elevator pitch look like if you had to write it out and hand it to somebody? Let people know your experience. Let people know who you are. Let people know why they want to work with you and not somebody else. All you need to do is click on where it says introduction and you'll be able to edit the introduction box. Type in whatever it is you want. You'll notice that you can make things bold italic, underline, you can make lists of things and even better you can add hyperlinks. So highlight the section that you want to hyperlink, click on link, type in the website you want to send them to, and now you've helped with your search engine optimization by putting it in your profile. Create your whole profile, whatever it is you want to say. Our recommendation is keep it brief. Don't make fill your whole screen. Don't make people scroll. Once you've entered it, just click Save, and you can see you can now click right on the words to go to a website I want to take you to. So if you were to click on Facebook or Twitter, you'd go right to my profile without me having to fill in all that information. So now you've told them who you are. You've shown them photos of who you are. You've given them the elevator pitch about who you are. You've written it with search engine optimization in mind by linking back to a website or two in your introduction. Now you can add bragging rights. 
Is there anything that you want to brag about? Maybe you're a member of the Internet Marketing Specialist designation. Or maybe you have something else to brag about. Just type and fill it in. Your occupation. What do you do? Your employment. Click on employment. Put in your employer's name. Put in your job title. And when did you start? And did you end that job? Or are you currently working there? This is the LinkedIn part of the profile. Maybe somebody worked with you somewhere else before, and now they know it's you. Or maybe people will understand a little more about you by seeing some of your past experience. How about your education experience? Where did you go to school? And the places you've lived across the country. This might give you a new reason for communication with somebody. Maybe you find out someone lived where you lived. Or maybe they knew you when you lived somewhere else and now they feel better guessing that you are the same person they knew living somewhere else phone number email address what is your status what are you looking for your gender any nicknames or other names you might have so people can find the right person this will help you set up your profile correctly remember you're using Google Plus not only to create relationships but to generate business as you're filling in this information now scroll back up and just under the photos you'll notice the category of links now it's time to create links that you want right there on your page let them find you on Google Plus and end up anywhere else you want them to you can add a custom link just by typing in the title for the link and then the URL for where you want them to find you. Click Save, and you will add another link that you just created. Pay attention as you're sitting down to create your links, as they're going to go in order. So figure which link you want at the top, and put that one in the system first. Otherwise, you're going to end up deleting and re-entering the information for links. Once you've done that, you've got yourself a profile. Click Done Editing, have a look at it, make sure you're happy with how it looks, and join us as we move on to all the other things you'll want to know about Google+.